on the real. Out with the old, in with the new. We're fixing up your wardrobe, workout, and beyond. First, it's time to go gym clothes. Get rid of those things. Then we're showing off the hottest trends with our most colorful finds. And we're showing you how to keep that money, honey. On the real. important meal of the day. It is. But according to teenagers, it's also the most challenging. You know, because they always booked and stuff. <laughs> All right, so the New York Times Food column reported that 40% of millennials said that cereal is, guess what, y'all? Calm what? down. An inconvenient food. What? Yes, it's, in it's an inconvenient food because it requires cleanup after eating it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> The Rich House study says that millenniums didn't care if the cereal was hot or if it was cold. They just simply don't want it because they don't want to do no dishes. Uh, wow. Now, Adrian, do you think they got a point? You the youngest at the table. Or uh, do you think <laughs> <laughs> eating cereal, does that try your entire life just like these millennials out here or they just flat out lazy? I thought that cereal was like the easiest food to eat. No. Yeah. Yeah. Am I bugging? It doesn't no. take much. No. You like cereal, too. First of all, I love cereal. Me I actually too. think it's a very childish food. <laughs> you know, I'm here for all those flavorful, you know, fruity pebbles. Yes. Ooh, Ooh, crunch with berries. Super garden crisp. My favorite of all time is Cheerios. But the, the simple fact is, don't they know about plastic bowls or paper bowls? I don't, I don't bowls? think exactly. they do. I think no? they still use, like, the big, the big bowls. They have paper bowls and plastic bowls. Spoons. You just well, I think that when it comes to millennials, I think they just like things to be expedient. You know what I mean? Like uh, instant like, gratification. Like, yes. Like if a video on Instagram takes like four seconds too long, they're like on to the next. Okay. Like, how much quicker can it get than cereal? And right. you pour. You pour. But then you, you gotta eat. go to the refrigerator and get the milk. Oh, that's oh, really awkward. Hey, hey, hey. I think. What? What, what do they eat? Can cereal I be bars? Pop tarts. Pop tarts. Cereal that takes bars. Long. That takes long. They don't actually heat it up like we did, though. No, yeah. That's... Yep. I can't believe that they so lazy that they can't go to the kitchen. But if you put an Xbox in the kitchen, they'll be there in four <laughs> seconds. Yeah, bro. Okay, I have to tell you guys something. What? But... So when I first heard about this topic that we're yeah. talking about, um, <laughs> I was like, ugh, millennials, <laughs> right? Like, I was so sure that I was... Not a millennial. Are you a millennial? Sure. You guys, I'm a I'm one of them. No. Yeah. I don't know if... No, trust yeah. me, I thought I was not. What's the official what? definition? So a lot of people don't know what a millennial is, like where the cutoff is, where it starts and ends. What's the cutoff? Where does it start and end? If you're born after 1981... Oh, I barely made it. 1981. And I was born in 83. I'm, I'm a millennial. Oh my God. I think a we millennial is a, a mindset bad... though. Like it's a mindset in, in the way that they live, their style. Like what you just said, you are a little bit more mature in the way that you're thinking mm -hmm. than a millennial. Not to say the millennial is immature. Like what yes, they, they are. Oh my God. Okay, what they I'm saying, like stereotypically, millennials are like the ones that, you know, Take a lot of selfies. I fit into that category. Yeah. Okay, okay. We're Check. kind of addicted to our phones. I Check. fall into that category. But I actually don't believe that I am lazy at all. You're not. But, but you also don't cook, friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
But that's because I actually like to go out to dining experiences too. Uh oh. Which Lazy. takes more effort to like get up, get out. Maybe Adrian and is get a millennial. Yeah, she is a millennial. Yes, yes. I mean, I'm sorry, I okay. love friend just the same. No shade. That's okay. Be who you are. Be proud of who you are. Yeah. But I'm a millennial. That's okay. cool. I will admit though. Huh? I Have you guys generation. ever okay, this uh. might be just me and that's fine. I'm okay on the island of Jeannie. When you're really, when you're staying at home and yes. you don't want to keep washing dishes, let's say you have a work day at home. Sometimes I have an office day. I don't want to keep washing my breakfast bowl and then my snack bowl and then that cup I had for lunch and then the bowl that I make with the pot that I cook. So I just, I'll eat my breakfast in a bowl and then I'll put the bowl in the fridge so that when lunch comes, I just put the lunch in a bowl. You can straighten your head out now. It's okay. <laughs> I'm human. Then I put the lunch in the bowl that I use for breakfast so I don't have to wash two bowls. Oh, you no, don't have a lazy. dishwasher? Yeah, that's real lazy, though. Why not just up? wash it and then put it to the Thank side? You because I don't want my nails to wash out. <laughs> yeah, but Jeannie, it's, it's just like that. Don't yeah. everything start, Rinse now, it out. Don't everything start tasting the same? Now, I, I have this little cup in the summertime that you keep <laughs> cold in the frigidaire, and I understand. See? Wait, wait, hold your, hold your, hold See? that out. Because you know I'm a real southern girl, and when mm -hmm. we, you know, because it's hot in the summertime, you got your little cup, right? Yep. That you drink out of every time. And when you finish drinking out that cup, you just rinse around, put it back in the fridge there. So when you ready to get something else to drink, it's cold. Oh, that's, that's very smart. Yeah, that's Never thought of that. Yeah. But I don't know about no bowl. You just pour <laughs> stuff in. Same thing. Like, but don't your breakfast taste like your lunch? And no, it's cleaned out. I rinse it too. Oh, so you rinse it out. There might be a chia okay. seed on the corner of it, but it goes right back okay. in and comes back out. But why okay. is it going in the fridge? Is all your food cold? No, because you wanna you wanna make sure it stays clean. And in the fridge, there's no there's no germs. It's just your fridge is the cleanest place where no like. Oh wait, things can wait, bother wait, 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 no. wait. No germs in the refrigerator. No. Uh, wait. If you wait. leave it, if you leave a bowl that's not fully washed out, I think flies could get to it. <laughs> No, it's a fridge, fridge. I believe in my mind, in my mind, it works. It's that things mind. in the fridge, if they're cold, they stay germ free. No. Really? No. It's when yeah. you put hot no, water Jeannie. to it yeah. that the germs go away. Science no. according to Jeannie Miley, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. No. Hot water. <laughs> That's not right. Hot water takes right. away germs. Pretty much. Love well, <laughs> some parents have found a solution for lazy kids who don't do their chores. They bribe them. Are you that parent? Oh, no. So nowadays, parents well. are more inclined to give their kids <laughs> money for simple tasks like brushing their teeth or cleaning what? their room. Critics of this parenting style say that chores should be about learning responsibility and not earning money. So we took this, okay, so you agree, parents are in the house. We took this topic to Facebook and here's what some of our amazing fans had to say. Honey Wampler said, no way should they be paid for helping out. They live there too, and they need to contribute to the household. Okay. Sandy Hall said, making your bed, cleaning your room, setting the table, no. Making some extra cash by washing the car, pulling weeds, and cleaning the garage, yes. So she okay. thinks the harder tasks should be paid for. Nah. Tam, yes. you're a mom of yes. two kids. Yes. Where do you stand? Are you going to start paying Aiden to do the chores around the house? Um, no. Right. Uh, I think, I mean, maybe when he gets a little bit older and he understands the value of working hard and the value of money, but right now, I think the blessing of having kids is saying, you know what, Aiden, can you go help me get that pamper? <laughs> Please, yeah. go get the pamper for mommy. And he says, yes, mommy, okay. I love that I have children to help me out. <laughs> I was that, we were that for my parents. Yeah, we had, um, the kids had to run, go get the remote control. Get it's your mother, teams, right and and we had <laughs> GI Fridays, which I'm, I'm an ex-army brat. GI Fridays means General Inspection Friday. So every Friday after school, we had to GI our entire house. That's that why mean? General Inspection. That means you had to like get that toothbrush and you had to clean Ew. around the to Yeah, we had to clean. But I'm a clean person because of it. When I was younger, I didn't like it. But now, thank you, Mom and Dad, for teaching me how to be Aww. a clean, a yes. clean lady. You've seen my house, Lonnie. It's Your immaculate. Dressing room is spotless. Yeah, yeah. yeah. just cleansing so you, you, you get that toothbrush still? No, I don't get the toothbrush, but I am on my hands and knees, like like cleaning. I'm. You're a germaphobe too, right? Right? No. Yeah, but don't. No. No. No, you <laughs> are. What do you mean? Yeah, we are. I just can't oh, do it. You. Oh. I'm not okay. a good cleaner. Like I, I can cook. Got it. Cleaning is not, you know, uh, my strongest suit. Okay. Cleaning is therapeutic for me. I like to clean. I like to clean. But it's I ain't paying Logan to go do nothing though. I'm gonna tell him when I'm gonna pay him though. 
I'm gonna pay, I'm gonna spank him if you don't do what I ask you to do. <laughs> okay, that's How about funny. that? Yeah, 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 I don't get it. Why, why do parents, I'm not a parent, so I'm gonna ask, mm -hmm. Why do some parents negotiate with their children? I don't children? know, because they're crazy. Ain't no, I'm not finna negotiate with you like, and I'm telling you what to... I want you to do. You yeah, do not I... have that luxury. And that's why you millenniums ask questions like that, because, <laughs> you know... <laughs> you were raised up that old school child. What? It wasn't even a question to mm -hmm. ask your yes. parents a question. Like, exactly. what you talking about? Do you remember Willis? what would happen if you actually, like, made a noise or mouth back yes, at mom? Yeah, you were like, off the sheet rock. Dude. Exactly. If she even heard me go, psh, psh, what? Yeah. What you say? Psh, what? <laughs> oh, it's scary. You couldn't even, you know, suck your teeth. You know how you're like, oh, yeah. please, mom, or roll your eyes? Forget Ooh. about it. Remember oh, when God. dude was in? Have you ever called, like, if you go, dude. Oh, yeah. You said that to your mama? Oh, my God, I almost lost my teeth. Yes, you did. It was crazy. She was like, who, dude? Who, dude? You know what I did? I said, Mom, you crazy girl. She said, what? First of all, don't you ever call me crazy, and don't call me girl. I am your mama. Not and your friend. Like, Not your friend. Not your friend. Don't cross the line. Yes. Yeah. 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 Hey, that's <laughs> scary. Do you think kids should be paid for chores? Uh, well, when I grew up, you know, my mama didn't even think about payment. You, my payment was watching Soul Train on the weekend. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. Remember that on the weekend? But I, 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 I agree with the fact that I think it teaches children to be a part of a family. Like, we're a team. Yes. It's a team effort. You've got to help out. You've got to join in. And hopefully it teaches them that you shouldn't have to get paid to be helpful. Exactly. Be but helpful out I of the kindness say, of your heart. And you see what your parents do for you, you should want to help out. I don't think it's about paying for the chores, but I do think that, that children should be given some type of an allowance. And I say that because it teaches them about money, it teaches mm -hmm. them about yes. saving, mm -hmm. um, mm. it gives them some type of responsibility. So mm -hmm. I remember I was in Target like two weeks ago, and I saw this little boy, he was about maybe six or seven years old, and I was in back of him, and he had a little toy, and his dad had, his dad had paid for all his stuff, and the little boy had his little toy, and so he waited, and he's like, I was like, oh, that's so cute, he's gonna pay for his toy. He's like, yeah, he saved up his money. So that's when he awesome. got there, the toy was seven bucks. But the little boy only had five. Aww. And he said he's been saving for like three months and stuff like that. And then, <laughs> you know, and so the dad was about to give the two dollars. I said, you know what, sir? No, this is a teachable moment. I said, I'm going to give you that two dollars because you worked for three months. And so Aww. when you work, hey, you great. deserve an award. And so, yeah. you know. So I, I try that. to do that kind of stuff yeah. with kids. Yeah. You know, no, I think that's them. smart. I remember the next time Logan wants something. You ask your auntie Lonnie, she <laughs> buy it. I don't have a problem with that. <laughs> For it. <laughs> <laughs> well, doing chores at a young age is a great way to prepare someone for working in the real world. But when choosing a career, should you take into account whether it's attractive to the opposite sex? Dating app Tender just released their list of the most right swiped jobs that each sex finds appealing. According to their users, the sexiest job a man can have is being a pilot. No. Who knew? God. While men get very turned on by women who are physical therapists. What? Yeah, it's very interesting, right? Obviously, so, why? <laughs> right. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Lonnie, yes. Miss Love, in your opinion, what is the sexiest job a man can have? Any job where he get paid. <laughs> He gets paid. Yes. 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 <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> no, because you don't met them. You know, I'm I'm an entrepreneur. And yeah. <laughs> I have an idea. I have an idea. Boy, it's gonna work. Yes. This yes. idea yes. gonna make us some money or not? Yeah. Now. If you Do just you think... invest, it's like okay, bro. Well, on right. the list. Right. Yeah. <laughs> on the list, pilots were were number one. I think yes. Yes. Number pilot. three uh, were firefighters. Yeah. Oh. Yes. 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 Doctors. I'm finding, I'm finding a theme, though. I think Dangerous. women love 
Men, no, in uniform. In uniform. I think uniform. men in uniform, it's just sexy. Yes, no, it is. Very right? dangerous jobs. He's going to be in the air. I don't like it. He's going to go fight the fire. No, but girl, I, like the I love it. Oh, Me too. I, I saw it because, you know, I travel a lot. Yeah. And I, I've seen maybe in throughout my traveling, maybe three black pilots. And when I see a black brother and it's a pilot, woo, I follow him all around the airport. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, what I'm is taking it about pictures it? with him everywhere. What is it, what is it about it? I'm just so proud. I'm like, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> so proud. And then I did see a black female, one, in my uh -huh. life. She out was of all the times, you? she was flying me. I was, I was all in the cockpit with a girl. Come on, we gonna fly. We gonna, I'm so excited. Yeah. We so excited. But do so you, know? you know what I noticed, you guys, on the, the men's list? There, there, there weren't, like, TV actresses or... or no, 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 Okay, maybe that's yeah. what it is. Mm -hmm. We don't hear you to any of Yeah, I was like, hmm. No, entrepreneur. No, right? That ain't, still ain't talking about a... No. Number five is no, a yeah. teacher. I could think... I, I love see that. that that's very sexy. I totally agree. Teachers are but really... But you can yeah. definitely I, see the difference between what men, like, mm -hmm. find sexy and what women find sexy, because it's a whole different... Because I think that women that do the, the men jobs are just as sexy. To me, I just... I don't see a difference. You know? I don't know, for me, it's something about a man in a suit behind a desk. Yes. Hallelujah. Yeah. yeah. Sexy. Ooh, and a nice, expensive <laughs> suit, yes. right? Yes. And nice yeah. shoes. You know, it's I always got like two, three shoes. You smell good. good. On the <laughs> phone, have, like, oh, yes, God. Like, <laughs> I love it. Uh, Me too. Shoes. There's something about yes. a, a man in a nice suit and he has nice shoes. Yeah, sometimes yes. he got wearing no socks. Like right. he got real you know, non ashy ankles and you got a <laughs> nice suit on. You like yes. yes. I like when a guy <laughs> checks himself out in the mirror as he's getting dressed. Yeah. Like when he shuffles on his blazer and he <laughs> straightens out his tie. Yeah. Or when they fix their hair. It's so cute. Yes. 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 I so. love that. Wow. Yes, so. I was scrolling through Instagram this weekend and I saw a meme that I wanted to share with everybody. Check it out. It says, shout out to low maintenance friends, the ones you don't talk to for months because you're both living your life. But when you meet up, there's nothing but love. Mm. Mm. Yes. Right, Adrian, you love a good meme. I now, do, do you agree that low maintenance friends are the best type of friends? Absolutely. <laughs> I am grown. <laughs> Let me tell you, I'm not trying to be funny. When you're a grown up, you really do have your own life. The other person may have a family, children, and you cannot hold it against them if they're not checking in with you every day, people have things to do. Right. Yeah. And I think there's nothing better than you haven't seen each other in a long time and you can pick up right, right where, where you left, left yes. off. I think that is the best. <laughs> yes. 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 And let me tell you something. If you really think about those are your real friends. Yes. Always. People yes. you ain't got to entertain 24 yes. seven. Like, but just because you don't answer your phone right then and there, they're not offended. Like, no. that yeah. drives me to drink. I mean, dang, you that busy, you can't answer yeah. my call. I mean, I got a two-year-old, though. Like, you have several right. seats yeah. and a job and a husband. Like, girl, you <laughs> fall in line after my last sister. Mm -hmm. Sit down. Yeah. You know, like, what yes. you talking about? Yeah. I do see where you guys are coming you from. You know? I do have low... Low, well, I have one low maintenance friend, Megan Stevenson. I love you so much. I haven't seen you in a year, but uh, <laughs> I think about her every now and then. And yeah, she actually pay, played my best friend in a show on ABC Family that we did together called Roommates. Mm. And, uh, and I just, I love her because exactly what you said, when we're together, it feels like, you know, nothing ever happened. You nothing ever happened. Wait, I'm gonna tell you even better. What? You guys have friends, like you said, that you don't have to entertain. Like Tamar, when I come over your house, you could be getting your hair done, you could be... I literally chill on my computer on the floor. <laughs> and we don't have to talk. Oh, those we're are just, good, yeah. We're just yeah, hanging out. Good. Yes. I sometimes invite my friends over, and when they get there, I take a nap. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, I'm not joking. Ball. They don't have to be entertained. They can come over and just. Lonnie I'm takes take people over to me. Wait, no, when she Lonnie, Lonnie slept yeah, over my house, house and literally it was like, up. let's chill. Have yeah. you ever, yeah. have you ever took a nap with your friend? Yes. yes. I always take a nap yeah. with my best friend Andrea. I yes. want to say something, you guys. Yeah, yes. Okay. I am really proud of the fact that I am absolutely a low maintenance friend. I really am. Good job. I don't need to. Like, I, I wow. take pride. I am! <laughs> no, you talk the entire time. That's for my entertainment, oh. not yours. My I, dog. I do, but I keep myself entertained. I'm the type that will, like, 
keep myself entertained, keep myself busy. And I also, if I don't see you in a long time, uh -huh. I can hit you up again, uh -huh. and then it'll be like it was okay. like yesterday. Jake, you know? I love you, but what? <laughs> Come, you give it to him. You can't say you low maintenance, yeah, yeah. okay? I am. You, you know, you gotta let the person say you low maintenance. <laughs> You can't. No. No. I love I don't, you. No, I don't agree. No, because if I know I'm low maintenance, I'm going to give myself a shout out and a pat on the back. No, no. I'm low maintenance. No, bro. OK, any of Jeannie's friends, please call in. No. And let us know if she low maintenance, because the four of us, anybody agree that she low maintenance at this table? Yeah, I kind of do. No, no don't, she, don't. She like this. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. No, but I mean, in the sense that, when Jeannie is busy, she's busy, but every now and then you'll get a text. You know what? Mamura. That's just you being a good Christian, yeah. okay? No. You just try to No! We I love her. I'm speaking my truth. I just love you just the way you are. Jeannie, don't get yeah. it. We love I'm you just, just the way you are, but don't. No, you're not, baby. Jesus loves me, this I know. <laughs> so the Bible tells me so. <laughs> I am indeed a dope-ass low maintenance. <laughs> <laughs> I really am. Have you ever worked out and noticed your gym clothes and sneakers are looking a little ratty, but you mm -hmm. keep wearing them anyway? Yeah. Well, most people don't know that gym clothes actually have an expiration date. <gasps> so today, we're gonna break it down for you guys and give you the 411 on when you should toss them. This is Time to Go Gym Clothes. <laughs> We're here in the gym, but the only thing you're going to work out is the answers to this game. You'll be playing in teams. Kay. Jeannie and Adrian are on the pink team. <laughs> and Lonnie and Tay Tay are on the yellow team. <laughs> All right, ladies, go to your stations, please. Kay, I'm really with you on this. All right, so this is how the game goes. In front of you are three different pieces of workout clothing. You will have 30 seconds to place each item on the pillar with the date you think it's time to trash that item. Okay, do you guys get it? Yeah, I got it. All right, Jeannie, do you get it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Great, can we get 30 seconds on the clock, please? All right, ready, set, go! Stations, please. You guys are already uh, there? Okay, where Jeannie, are Adrian. Yeah. Okay, let's see which item expires in three to six months. That item is. Who's right? Devil. Ah. What the ah. Ready, ah. I knew it. Ah. I told you. The yellow ah. team is correct. Ah. This is especially if you use your shoes five to six times a week. A few other tips to know when it's time to go are if you start to feel pain in your knees while you're wearing them, or you find yourself tying your shoelaces really tight to feel support. I'm never listening what? to Munchkin again. She what? told Y'all me that. Y'all don't go to the I, gym. I, no, I, I said to put the shoes in your private areas. This no, needs to go she, she, Everybody know no, we're going to the gym is three, six, six. I knew it. I knew it. it. I knew it. Well, you guys, you guys have to get rid of your running shoes in three to six months, OK? So get rid of those things. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> to have my running sneakers for, like, years. <laughs> to help your shoes last longer, just try rotating them between two pairs. And when you're done running, just loosen the laces and open your shoes to air them out. That's one of the reasons why you should let them air out. The pink team, you get <laughs> right? And the yellow team, you get one point. <laughs> Now let's see which team got the next one right. What expires in six months to a year? It's a? Okay. Bam. We got that. Sports bra. You guys both got it. It expires then or whenever the straps start to feel loose. And if your bra doesn't support you fully, it could put extra strain on your back, which sure. doesn't feel good at all. But if you want to make your sports bra last longer, just hand wash them 
and don't put them in the dryer. Mom. That can make the elastic wear out faster. So Pete, team, you get one point. <laughs> and yellow team, you guys have two points. <laughs> this is getting really good. Okay, last one. Come on, we already know who won. Eh? Yes. <laughs> Which yeah. item should you get rid of after one to two years? The correct answer is. Be pants, Tam. You are correct, Tay Tay. <laughs> Workout pants. You should also toss them if you notice fuzz balls or Jeannie Mai. <laughs> <laughs> <Keep reading>. Or <laughs> when your pants start to feel really loose, worn pants can cause chafing and distract you from your workout. And to help your pants last longer, just avoid fabric softener. This kills your high tech wicking capabilities. Pink team, you get zero points. I'm sorry. Yellow team, you get three points. Oh, yeah. you know what, guys? I think that's the end of the game. It is. The pink team got a total of one point, and the yellow team got a total of three points. That means Team Yellow wins the game. I hope everyone learned something today. So head to your drawers and get to tossing. When it comes to saving money, there are lots of clever tips and tricks out there that can help keep our wallets nice and thick. So why not share them with one another so we can all save some extra money, honey? Hey, we got you covered. It's time for Keep That Money, Honey! Yes, child, this is something that is named after my own heart. Uh-oh. To save my own coins. I like to keep it cheap and cheerful when having <laughs> social time with my girlfriend. Like, we just love to spill the tea over some drinks and eat honey. So just to keep the costs low, do what I do. She researches the best happy hours in my town. You should do it in your town. And whenever you get together with your girlfriends, suggest the time and the place that coincides uh. with the great happy hour special. <laughs> Great way to check out bars and restaurants you've never been to. And that's how Tamer Esteem Braxton keeps that money, honey. Oh. <laughs> you totally do that. Yes, I love that. You definitely do. do. Yes. Well, ladies, I'll admit it. I love to shop, but mm -hmm. I also like to save a buck or two. Whenever I visit my favorite stores, I try and get to know the personnel there. Always. Yep. You strike up a combo, tell them how much you love their clothes there, and leave your contact info email, doesn't have to be your number or anything, and a lot of the times, they'll actually email or call you when there are big sales so that you're not paying full price but still getting the clothes you love. Smart. And that's how I keep that money, honey. Yeah. <laughs> All right. If you've got a car, you know the upkeep can be expensive. So one way to cut corners <laughs> is to save on your oil changes. Did you forget to bring a coupon with you? No problem. Just go to your phone while you're waiting. Yes. A lot of times you can find a coupon on the business website or an app that you can download and use right there. And that's how I what? and I love entertaining, but we hate the waste. So instead of buying plastic cups that get thrown out or destroy the environment, we go to <laughs> antique or secondhand shops and pick up a variety of extra drinking champagne and wine glasses because then it looks all rustic when they're mismatched. That way we have a nice selection of mismatched glassware that looks amazing, personalized, and we don't waste perfectly good pours of wine and water because someone forgot which cup was theirs. And that's Ooh. how I... <laughs> We all know looking your best can be super pricey. So ladies, we can rack up the charges on beauty and fitness services in no time, right? Right. Well, want to know my secret to keeping the cost low? Hmm. Buy in bulk. Now, it may cost you a little bit more up front, but it'll save you a lot in the long run. You can actually buy anything from, like, 10-pack of eyelash fills, laser, you guys. You can even get it in a bulk package. Tanning, yoga oh, classes, personal training sessions. Yeah. Plus, you'll be more likely to actually go if you've already spent the dough. I don't know if I bought a package, I'm showing up. So that's how I keep that money, honey. Have you ever spent
spent hours rifling through your closet looking for something, anything that matches. I know I've been there. Yep. Well, we have a solution that will save you time and have you looking oh so chic. I'm talking about the new trend of dressing in one color, top to bottom, monochromatic, bag to shoes. Soon, you'll be shouting, color me obsessed. I love it. Outfit is cool, but mm -hmm. what color should you choose if you want to turn heads? Mm. Everyone knows the color is red. Duh. Come on out! Rainbow, and this feisty red romper will have yes. you standing out in any room. Here's the one thing about one color looks. You don't just stop with the outfit. The same color flows through to your accessories as well. We added a red cross body chain purse and hot red pumps to match. Sexy. We picked this romper up from Zara. It was only $39.90. Wow. Her shoes are $72 from Nordstrom, and her bag is just $19 from TJ Maxx. Yay! Thanks, Chica. You look beautiful. I love it. Ooh, I like ladies in red. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> this next look is the one you want to say hello. That's because we're changing the color to yellow. Get on here, girl. She looked like a ray of sunshine in this bright, beautiful number. She's giving you a, she's giving a sexy shoulder with this racer front top, and we added a pretty pleated skirt on the bottom that gives good movement as she walks the right way. Now, we can't even get about the details of the flower print shoes. Look at those, oh, wow. those are everything. This look is perfect for a night out with the girls, mm -hmm. a little dainty day, honey. Mm -hmm. And her skirt and her shirts were on sale, and we got them for a total. Of guess what? $45 wow. for HM. And the shoes are $79.99 for Macy's, and the bag is just $89.99 from Nordstrom Rack. Oh, wow. Thanks, girl. Work your child. Oh, yes. Man. You know what? A color change is long overdue. I'm going to change the color to blue. Yes. Come on out, girl. Different. She's dressed in all blue, but this time we played with different shades. Her light blue loose shirt is soft on the eye, and the crop pants show just enough leg. The heels we found have many shades inside as well. Ladies, you are definitely stepping out of the boardroom looking sharp in this yes. outfit. Yes. The blouse is from Nordstrom's. It costs $58. The pants are $120 from Armani Exchange, and the heels are just $39.90 from Zara. <laughs> Well, color me obsessed. Did you guys love these looks or what? Okay, who here wants a shot at winning a thousand dollars? Well, if you can come up with the right answers, then it's all in the bag, and you've got yourself a shot at winning some serious cash. We're about to play everybody's favorite game where pilfering a purse can pay off big. Let's play Trivial Purse Loose! <laughs> all right, my girl Tamar is gonna tell the audience how to play the game. I sure am. <laughs> One of you will have 30 seconds to correctly answer as many rapid fire pop culture questions as you can. So be sure to be on your A game because each correct answer will earn you a chance to loot one of these purses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and each purse contains either money or some random summer item we found in Lonnie's purse. Ew. I want my stuff back. What do you mean, ooh? I got some good stuff. Whatever. Let's find someone who knows pop culture and they're ready to play this game. Where is Lisa? Lee. San Diego. 
go. Okay, oh, now. <laughs> now, are you current with your pop culture trivia? Yes. You think you got this? You stay up to date with very, everything that's going on? Very much so. Okay, well, remember, the more correct answers you have, the more purses you get to lose. So, let's put 30 seconds on the clock. Are you ready? Ooh, yes, yes. All right. Now, the clock will start as soon as I finish the first question. You ready? Okay. Stand right there. Here we go. True or false, each of pop star Adele's albums has been named after a number. True. Fill in the blank. April showers bring... April showers bring... Pass. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Stewie Griffin is voiced by Seth MacFarlane in what animated sitcom series? Family Guy. This former SNL alum is sure to make you laugh with her spot on impersonation of Sarah Palin. She was on S... Mm. This former SNL alum is sure to make you... Oh, 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 almost attempted to help you there. I'm like, she was on SNL. It was Tina Fey. Um, well, according to our judges, you answered two questions correctly. So you'll be rooting two purses. Got it? Now, whatever we find inside is yours to keep. Now it's time to loot. So, Lisa, pick your bags by calling out the number. Oh. Audience, you can have So, Lisa, are you ready to see what you want? Yeah. Okay. Let's loot these purses with the help of my lovely co-host behind the purses. Let's take a peek at what you're taking home. Tamar, let's start with you. Or, okay. Tamar, are you going to handle number seven? Okay. It's down here. Yes. <laughs> I see. See what that, Tamar? Oh. oh. oh my. Lonnie, what the hell? Lonnie. Why do you have this in your because purse? Because I'm an auntie. That's for my kids. Okay. So, but you can have it though, baby. That is okay. yours to keep, girl. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> <laughs> All yours. Take it out. Okay. Okay. Number 14. Lonnie, what does she have in there? Oh man. 